Hey everybody, in this video I am going to show you a little bit of a hack that is going to save you, quite frankly, insane amount of money if you're trying to use any sort of rollerball pen. Uh, it's going to save you more money with the more expensive pen that you use just because with the more expensive a pen that you have, the more expensive the rollerball refills are going to be. Now, a rollerball is essentially a mix between a fountain pen and a regular pen. So essentially, this guy right here uses liquid ink instead of the gel or the sort of oil-based inks that you see used in ballpoint pens. So it has a very, very smooth writing capability, but at the same time, it has a few problems. First of all, it's going to run out of ink much sooner because you are essentially using colored water to write. And second of all, the refills last you know, not too long because it does dry, it does run out a little bit sooner, and the refills are extremely expensive. For example, with this Mont Blanc pen, um, the refill, I would say, probably lasts, and it's this guy right here, the refill will last, you know, a, a small good amount of writing, maybe like maybe 20 pages of writing or something, maybe a little bit less depending on how you write. Uh, 20 smaller pages, by the way, moleskin pages or something of writing. But this will cost you about $7 plus plus tax and everything if you go to Mont Blanc. So you can see how quickly these add up, especially if you do a lot of writing. But at the same time, number one, I mean, the ink and everything in here and the way these work, especially the way the, the ballpoint and everything work, they're phenomenal. And number two, I mean, if you're spending that much money on Mont Blanc and you're using different ink inside of it, um, or using a different system, I mean, inside of it, the ink doesn't matter as much, You're you're definitely sort of... I don't know, essentially just paying for this piece of plastic and gold-plated silver, whatever it is, instead of the actual writing ability of it, which I think is sort of weird. So, the trick is, instead of going out and paying so much money for these little guys, which adds up terribly fast, by the way, I realized that there is a little trick to, to getting around spending that much money. And the trick is, essentially, refilling this guy right here. And it's extremely simple. All you need is a syringe with a blunt needle. Blunt needle is preferred. This is actually a, I believe this is an 18 gauge needle, but that's fine. Um, a blunt tip needle would be preferred, especially if you don't want to stab yourself. I'm pretty good with these things, so I don't worry about that. But with you, I would suggest a blunt tip needle. You need your dry, dry, this is actually still wet, but a dry Mont Blanc cartridge and a pair of tweezers or more preferably very very fine like jewelers needle nose pliers or a pair of needle holders like surgical needle holders or something those would work great too so what you're essentially going to do is first things first this black cap that's on the back of it you're going to grab it and just wiggle it back and forth just like this until it pops out see very easy now you can't see it that well in this video but this is a a steel sleeve and inside of it, let me actually see if I can just bring it out. Inside of it, you have this right here, which is essentially the same thing highlighters have, right? It's that uh, plastic wrapped sort of uh, felt thing on the inside. So inside you have that. No need to bring it out when you're actually doing this. I just thought it would be cooler to show you instead of just talk about it. But, so you have that in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to get whatever ink you want. Another benefit of this, by the way, is you can literally use whatever ink you want. So with this, I'm using Noodlers, and I'm actually using one of their Warden inks, which are bulletproof. Um, so whereas the Mont Blanc inks can be washed away or lasered off and can be forged away by forgers, which isn't really good if you're writing checks or doing your signature on stuff, and etc., you can actually use different inks and get the, the different qualities you want. In fact, if you... If you do a good job washing this thing out, you can actually put in different colored inks or, or different inks that you otherwise wouldn't have access to. And what you're going to do is this whole thing filled up, since it is mainly felt and stuff in there, will hold roughly a little bit under one milliliter of ink. So you're going to want to start at about half a milliliter, especially since you can refill these, I would suggest just do about 0.5 milliliters, which would be about up to one half so about up to here and maybe even go a little bit up to there like about a third to a, a half or two thirds to a half of a milliliter is a good place to start and you're going to take in the ink 
Let me see if I can just show you guys very quickly. Just because. Okay. Okay. Christ, that's a lot of ink. Okay. So, just pull the ink up. I'll just do a little bit because mine is actually, as I said, pretty full right now. And close it back so you don't pour the ink everywhere. Especially with these warden inks and everything, it's it's pretty tough. So you can see the ink is actually in here right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it right in there. And just just put a few drops in and let it, let it drip all the way down again. And then put the rest in and let it drip all the way down. There's no reason to, to try to force it or speed it up because that will just hurt you. Now, even though mine was still pretty full, um, I can sort of see there is still some movement in there, but I'm just going to end it here to be safe. Uh, like I said, especially since you can refill these, there's no reason to fill it up to the brim because you saw how simple it is to refill them. And then afterwards, you just take the cap and just click, push it back on there, just like that. So again, all you do is you grab this, wiggle it out, suck some ink up, put it in, squirt it in, and you're done. And that just saved you, I mean, you can get this thing for about $12. And that has, I think, that has something like uh, 3 ounces of ink, which is like, what, 100-something milliliters? So that's about 100-something rollerballs worth of ink. You saw how little I had to put in there. Um, so $12 for 100-something uh, rollerballs worth of ink versus $12 for two of these. You can't beat it, plus you get all the different qualities of the ink, too. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Have a nice day.